Kevin Carmouts. Lawsuit for assault. Do you know where to get in this building? Yeah. Go right here. Go through this door. Okay, thanks, man. Okay. Hey, good morning. I just need to speak to the court services. Okay. Uh, the counters are closed typically between uh, 11 and 2. Oh, I thought they were open from 11 to 2. No, they're closed between 11 and 2. They're open from 9 to 11. And then from 2 to 4. 2 to 4, okay. Shit. Um, and that's if I wanted to file a lawsuit? That's, that's people yeah, I speak you to? You need to speak to a clerk, right? And, and that would be... The counters are closed. That would be the same people, okay? Yeah. Shit, I, they did tell me that. I just uh, I just forgot. Yeah. Okay. Um, 2 to 4, so shit, 2 hours. Damn, I just missed them too, eh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, just a heads up for when you come back. You're not allowed to uh, film in the courthouse at all. You're not allowed to film on the premises. In the courthouse or the court in building? The courthouse. Like the courthouse, like in here. Really? Yeah. That's a law. It's uh, yeah, it's a rule. Oh, okay. So it's just a policy. Yeah. Okay. So what law would that be, though? What law would that be? Yeah. What law would I be breaking if I was recording? Uh, I suppose it would be, um, could be contempt of court, because it's a rule that's set by the justices or the courthouses. Right. So it's basically to protect, um, you have minors coming in and out of courtrooms, you have um, people who are witnesses whose identity is not supposed to be divulged. Okay. Like when you have, so, so that's the reason why they do that. Okay. My only concern with having it on yeah. is, and now it wasn't this location. Yeah. But that temporary location you guys had at Palladium Way, I guess, at some point, uh, with COVID? Uh, that's um, a provincial offense courthouse, yeah. Yeah, okay. So I went in there, um, and that's the reason why I'm recording today. Uh, I was I ended up assaulted by the security um, officer, uh, Robert Partridge, out of there. So mm -hmm. now I just, I'm uneasy going in any courthouse now, because I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure if you're the same stature as Robert, uh, the other individual. But he was, he was basically the security guard that did this. And okay. ended up assaulting me when I went into the, um, had an appointment to uh, file private information. Okay. So I'm just uneasy without any uh, documentation, of course. And then, furthermore, beyond that, when well, there's I, all kinds of video, like we're that's, on video now. That's exactly what I was going to get into. Um, beyond that, when I ended up filing a private um, uh, complaint against him for assault, because that's what happened in the courthouse. Conveniently enough, the cameras weren't available. Right. So it's just like. There's got to be some accountability where I am protected as well. Well, you you are because. But I wasn't in that situation. First of all, first of all, like there's a there's a lot of uh, mechanisms. Um, police officers are the most accountable of any profession in in Canada. That's not true. Well, it is actually because it's you not. have you have the OIPRD, which is a, another way to dismiss any accountability accountability for officers. Believe me, I filed over 100 complaints in my life. Not one of them has come back. How many complaints? Over a hundred. You seem to have a lot of problems with officers. No, it's actually the exact opposite. I'm very polite and cordial. It's just the officers seem to not obey the the, the laws themselves, from my experience. Well, uh, if you've had to file hundreds of complaints, I, I I've never filed hundreds of complaints about anything in my life. Yeah, no, I I, I hate to do it, and I, I really go out of my way to not file mm -hmm. a complaint. Um, okay. And that's the, usually the result I have to go through at the end of the day because nobody wants to deal with it. Um, no, nobody wants to have a conflict, a conversation about it. So they yeah. end up. Sadly enough, that's that's the case. But um, like I say, that's just my experience. So, all right. That's my reasoning why I have the recording. Um, but I, if I do come back at two, I would like to have a, be have some peace of mind knowing that the same situation is not going to happen, right? Like I say that. That I, are you worried that I'm going to assault you? Yeah, or someone, for some reason. Like I say, it shouldn't happen, but I, I have no I'm, idea. I'm just telling you my 
private, my, my, my past experience, man. Well, all I know what to, I don't want to tell you, sir. I mean, going, going about your daily business is a risk in life, right? No, I know, but you should, it shouldn't be at a risk when you're at a public facility, especially that we pay for when well, there's cameras, right? But, it, but if you're an, an, an affable and decent human being, you have nothing to be too concerned Absolutely, about. but the, the same has to go on the other hand, right? So, yeah, exactly. So, so as long as you're good and I'm good, we should be good. But how do I know you're good? That's the question, right? Well, how do I know you're good? Well, we don't. That's why the camera's there. <laughs> but then again, when I, when, when I filed to get the cameras, it wasn't available. So that's, that's again, the issue, right? Well, I, I don't know how to speak to that. Did you file with the Ministry of the Attorney General? Uh, I just filed a OIPRD complaint, and that's the... Oh, well, the OIPRD... He, he told me the, the cameras weren't available. Well, I don't know what to tell you what no, the OIPRD does, but if you go to the Ministry of the Attorney General and you have a lawyer, they're going to give you what you want. Yeah, so you shouldn't, you, again, you shouldn't have to go out of pocket and get a lawyer for getting public available footage. Well, right? it's, it's, you get a lawyer because they know the process. Well, it's F FOI, it's Freedom of Information, right? It should be available. But uh, the thing is, it's not. Well, no, you see, because if it's FOI, it's different than if you're filing a lawsuit or you're having somebody charged. No, but... Because under FOI, you're not entitled to everybody, a video of everybody here, like these people that are outside. You're not entitled to their video. I'm entitled to that video. You're entitled to video of you and everything that involves you. I'm entitled to that video right there, through FO FOI. Okay. Anyhow... I'm, I'm telling so, you, that's how it works. Uh, all right. I don't know anything about FOI. Have a good day, sir. But that's just how, that, that's how it's supposed to keep fairness, right? Yeah. <laughs> good luck, bro. No argument. Have a good day, sir. <laughs> Pathetic pieces of shit.